we're going to be taking a look at my Mossberg 930 SPX. This is a pretty nice little shotgun. It's a 12 gauge. I've added this little rail to it. This didn't come with it. On this, if you can see here, we have a fiber optic red sight on the front end. On the rear end, you have your little ghost ring. This is adjustable for both windage and elevation. Very nice little setup there, sitting on your Picatinny reel. You can add a little red dot say there if you want, even. Um, you have your uh, safety here. I can do it with one hand. Um, and a pistol grip. What else can you say? Um, this thing holds um, of the two inch, uh, two and three quarter inch. Three, I think yeah. it's uh, eight, seven plus one. Seven plus one, yeah. Seven plus one with that, and with the three inch, uh, it'll hold six plus one. So, you know, pretty much firepower and a little um, compact. Not to mention these, these both. We have two of these. Um, these things, these things have been ultra reliable uh, for us uh, with everything. Uh, you know, bird shot. I've shot a ton of weak bird shot these through are, it. These are low brass bird shot. We can't shoot them on the range here because of the spread. But <laughs> yeah. Um, but I mean, um, I, I I have heard personally of some reports of these uh, shotguns having problems with uh with low powered uh rounds and to be honest with you guys i haven't ever experienced it uh, in fact i i've tried several times to make mine malfunction couldn't do it um you know it's just it's really just a a plain jane gun that doesn't cost a ton of money that has some pretty nice sights on it um we, we, we added this aftermarket side saddle to it yep. Um, it makes it a little little bit more difficult to take to take it apart down into the receiver um, because you know you got these two hex uh, screws or Allen keys that you put in here uh, to take it down with but uh, it really doesn't add a ton of weight it's pretty light and we we dig we dig this shotgun I, I like it yeah, a lot this attack driver it, it, it hits really well mine mine came I will say that and this has been reported too. mine came uh, with a bit of a sight alignment issue right uh, but his I can pick up his and hit anything with it so yeah. it's just gonna be a matter of getting mine sighted in um, but we're gonna show a video on that too we're gonna try sighting his in with the uh, bore sighter yeah um, in another video coming up but um, I, I haven't had any issues with it I'm not going wood I did my own uh, putting frog lube when I wasn't real happy with the frog lube. Yeah, we 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 kind of we kind of uh, you know shy away from frog lube now. Um, the problem is, is guys, I, I, you know, people say, oh, you over lube your guns. You know, you put frog lube on it, you have malfunctions. I guess to a certain degree that that's probably true. However, even with minimal lubrication, you go to the range after letting your gun sit you know in the safe for a long time and we've had you know bad luck bringing guns to the range uh, and we know how to clean our clean our stuff here so um, we we kind of we kind of been have been testing other things fire clean works good on this stuff and so does uh, the new breakthrough uh, that we've been using this has been all recleaned with brake lube break break and breakthrough yeah. break lube I was trying to say fog lube but yeah break. Um, <laughs> you know the, the problem is especially you know with with semi autos is uh, you know, you, you you start to put you know some some stuff on there that you know maybe should probably. I think frog lube would work great on an AK, you yeah. know, because the tolerances are so loose. But on stuff like this, where you know you got little tiny cracks and crevices, I don't know. You guys can try it out, but yeah. You know. the, the problem with I thought I find with the frog lube is when it heats up, you know, when you, it goes where you don't want it to go. Yeah, and it and it kind of lubes in the places, and then it stays there, and it stays there, and then it, it seizes up stuff. So we were getting light, light strikes off of stuff, and that wasn't really yeah. making us. And happy. apparently, they, at some point, they had changed the formula. I think it was a couple of years ago. A slightly tweaked it, um, 
you know, it is good. It smells great. You know, food grade facility that they make it in, but and, and they had prob they had supposedly fixed the uh, you know congealing issues they call it where it hardens, but I, I really don't want to mess with it. Plus, it takes forever. So yeah, it does take. I, I, you know, when when we go out to the range, you know, we have six, seven guns in one session, and then pretty soon you start to realize once you get home, in order to do the procedure properly, you spend, you know, 45 minutes on one gun. It's just right. it's ridiculous. So, anyways, we got uh, some site stuff that we're going to be doing. We're going to be retesting this um, with our new uh, cleaning products. We got uh, breakthrough on here, and we'll report back to you guys. Take it easy. Alright, we're in the range. You can hear some shots here. Uh, we're going to show you what we shoot in here. These are uh, slugs. We get them from Freedom Munitions. Pretty uh, decent ammo. These are foster slugs. I believe these are one ounce foster slugs. Yeah. We'll go with one ounce. It's usually what they are coming out of here. These aren't uh, magnum runs. I got magnum runs too, but you can see actually in there there's a little plastic, um, uh, I don't know what they actually really call that, but it's a little plastic thing in there that flings um, the foster slug out. And it's rifled. You can see the rifling on it. Um, and they work pretty well in here. So that's what we're going to be shooting out of here. I believe that's called a faller, that little plastic thing there. Plastic wadding, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it actually gives us specs on here, which um, might be nice for people that are overseas and whatever. They'll go actually buy it. This is a, for us, it's two and a three quarters inch uh, shell. Um, but uh, for, for the people overseas, it's a 70 millimeter. Actually, it's a it's a very nice uh, shell. They make these. You know, these aren't reloads or anything like that. They make these themselves. Oh yeah, that's right. They are. They're full production. Yeah, they're, they're. But anyways, we're taking out the bird shot. Keeping it for home defense. He's a carrier. Double up buck. And he's have some bird shot as well up in the saddle. But we have to use slugs on the range, so that's what we're going to use. All right, we'll get to the shooting here in a minute. Oh, that's way off. It's 50 yards. show that um, seven shells are not the same as seven shells as they say these are both two and three quarter inch shells and if I show them the height from the side of them the slugs are a little bit higher you can see inside of here always get seven two and three quarter shells into this shotgun and I'll show you that here get seven double a buck seven slugs try to do this one handed
Stratus can. As you can see, the spring isn't sitting in the tube right up here. Uh, it jams up. It uh, takes rounds away from you, depending on where it kinks at. Okay, I'm going to add a little side note to this. This is my Mossberg uh, 930 XPS or SPX uh, shotgun. This is the trigger assembly out of it. Um, I'm going to say one thing bad about Frog Loot. This gun, after we had fired it, this was about a year ago, um, we put a lot of rounds through it. Um, the gun sits up in my gun cabinet like this. Um, obviously, this is the trigger. This is the furthest thing back on the shotgun. And this is the hammer right here. All the frog lube came down here and sat in here and f seized all up in here like a bunch of bubble gum. Um, I thought I had taken care of this the last time. But this hammer, instead of being shot, and flying up like this, like you can tell now, it's it's definitely got a hammer fly. It would come up, and I have to do it by hand here. It would come up and go, because all that frog lube was lubed up inside of here. So I got sitting here. This is a uh, bath of alcohol here. I've been sitting here for a day. You can see all the discoloration. This was clear liquid yesterday. I stuck every piece of that gun in here. Let it sit overnight. Now I'm taking the toothbrush to it and cleaning all that guck out of there. But uh, frog leaf, not real happy with that stuff at all. And I'll just advise everybody that uh, watches this not to use that. Now we're going to show this video again once this is all done here. And you'll see the shotgun is very nice. But I just thought I'd throw this little side note in there about frog loop because. And I was getting, it was such a light strike, I couldn't even see a mark on the damn back of the shotgun shell. But now, that's really flying. Now, it's going to take off, no problem. But this is my shotgun <laughs> the jug. And a little piece of Tupperware. And I'm going to scrub the hell out of it, and then we're going to put it back together, loop some points. Because once you stick it in alcohol, I'll also throw that note out there. There's going to be no oil, no residue, nothing in, on any parts of this. Um, I don't have to show the... No, I'm going to make another video. Right now, I just want to make sure it's get together right and stuff like that. But I'll have to make a video on taking this apart because this is pretty intricate. There's a, These pieces have to go just right. This whole spring assembly and uh, especially like the... Uh, this part here. This has to go in just right in the back of there. You have to keep your eye on it. This is mostly where I had the fog loop on the side of here. Um, but it all dripped down in there and hit right into the trigger assembly there. And especially the hammer. The hammer was just, it was like someone took putty or bubble gum and stuck it in there. Anyways, this is a little side note. Obviously, when you see this video, you're going to see that uh, we didn't get the chance to shoot there. But I'm going to finish that up. Uh, coming up this week here so we'll see so we can get this video out all right frog lube is not good i'm not sure if they reformulated it but as of uh, right, the, the stuff i was using i've uh, been not real pleased with it whatsoever i'm going to put some breakthrough on here um or slip 2000 either one uh, i think are pretty good and uh, we'll get back to you you'll see the uh, shotgun uh, shooting here soon all right Peace.
Looks like the first shot was pretty good. And I must have definitely pulled down on the last ones. That's a heck of a, that's a heck of a hole. I'm gonna fill that up with no duct tape, huh? Anyways, definitely can see the little definitely off in those last ones I'll have to watch my aim there. Not the gun, because that thing's pretty much on. I've been having a hard time getting this video out because there seems to be a problem with this feed tube and uh, I called Mossberg about it and he said yeah they indeed had a recall on it um, the problem is the follower up in here keeps getting stuck going up the tube and as you've seen in the video when I'm shooting it uh, and the spring seems to catch up in here and it gets all twisted up and um, then it starts binding up and then you can't get all the rounds in there. Uh, also, the same thing happens when you're when it's discharging the shells. Um, 
you get down to the last few rinds and then the uh, the rinds won't chamber um, and that seems to be all the same problem they have to replace the spring uh, mine seems to be having a problem right here where these uh, the, the extension tube here is, is catching the spring in there and it's like must have a burrs or something in there and it's catching the spring and twisting it all up so the rinds aren't feeding right they're not going into the tube right so they're sending me a new one here um, I think I'll show how to dis disassemble this in and, uh, and on in another video here but I got seven rinds up in there and it's hold seven rinds of uh, two and three quarters um, and I wanted to show that but <laughs> I was having a hard time with especially this last rind it's just not uh, wanting to go in there too well uh, my son's doesn't seem to have the problem but mine does but you'll see there's we'll see if we can get them all out here there's one two three four five six I'm trying to do this with one hand seven okay so there were seven in there one two three four five six seven um, I, I have a different follower that what comes with this that it doesn't have this red one I got this um, I'm not sure who makes this can't remember I got it last year and put it in there so it's a different follower but still that follower is sitting there. and I'll try to put the rhymes back in you'll see and I'll try to do this with one hand because I'm holding this camera myself but sometimes you look you can even see the problem getting the first rhyme in there already it's sticking in there that follower is coming up in there and it's just sticking and it won't budge you have to sit there and finagle it oh there it goes all right one round in there two rounds usually you get around three or four you start sticking you can't get them in there you have to jiggle wiggle and you know, see right there it's already binding up a little bit okay there's a fourth one That's the fifth one. And we're binding up already, aren't we? Can you get this? There you go, the sixth one. And seven. Now you see the seven went up in there, and that's how it should go. Um, you saw how I took those out there, you just have to hit the release button. Um, the bolt release is the same thing um, unlike a pump gun you don't have to rack them out of here but you can rack them out of here uh, it's actually racking okay now um, I can show that I'll see if I can do this one handed oh, this long enough and it's too lazy to pull out the tripod and stuff so we'll try to do this with here I got enough heavy heavy ammo and stuff right here should <laughs> hold this thing back but uh, you can see it'll chamber one up and I got the safety on by the way okay and now obviously it's not gonna pop out or too well like that I guess huh? all right try it this way And it's still getting kind of goofed up in there. I had them going pretty good there. Um, but now it's letting them out two at a time. That's not good. Anyways, wait till we get the new tube. They're going to send me a new uh, extension tube, a new feed tube here, and a new spring. Um, they were pretty good about it. Obviously, since I guess they probably know they got a problem issue here with this definitely not happy with that try to pull this around out here without getting my fingers caught up sucked one in there and I think this cycling problem here is my issue I'm hit, it's hitting my hand kind of hard to do with one hand here now you have my troubles here all right got the one rise they're still sticking in there so obviously 
Um, it's not going to work out until they give me the new stuff, but... And it's like, well, once it starts going, it's okay, but that tube's just really hanging up there. I'm going to put a phone number down the bottom, down here, um, in case anybody has one of these and you're having issues with it, just as I'm having issues with it feeding in and sticking rinds in the tube. Um, you can call this number. Um, they all know all about it. You just have to make sure you have your shearer number uh, on the side of the, of the gun. And um, give that to them, your address, and they'll send you all this stuff, no problem. Um, I'm going to show, I'm going to put the rhymes back in. I can show you how it, it, it releases them. Um, like I said, unlike like most pump, pump guns, um, it, you can release them without having to cycle the rhymes in and out like I just did. All right, going to try to show the release of the uh, rounds up in the uh, tube here, and hopefully don't take out my finger here, because um, they do come out with some force, especially the first couple when the spring's pretty compressed. Um, I found out the name, uh, the company, I'm going to put that down on the list too, um, with the follower, I had to go look up my old parts and stuff like that. Um, there's GG and G. Uh, I'll put down there. They have their own website. Anything you want for a, a, a Mossberg, you can get. Um, pretty, pretty nice parts. That follower uh, is really nice. Anyways, um, you hold the um, the bolt release um, button in. Hold your finger back here. Hopefully, when we crushed here too bad, um, what they come flying out pretty good. stick in there because I had they hurt <laughs> you can hold your finger in there they, they come flying out and I ain't gonna watch because one chamber so I take that one out that was the last one nope that wasn't the last one there's one sticking in there nope no there's not okay and it's kind of it's kind of crazy if you see in there I got Red rinds, and I see that uh, got the elevator out of the way. I'm not sure you can see up in there, but the um, the follower is red too. So I thought that was another rind in there, um, but it's not. It's just a follower. I'm not sure if you can see it better this way. Maybe you can see it better that way. You can see it's down there. It's red. I uh, don't recall the price of that. I think it was around 20 bucks or something like that. But we'll get a better in depth here of parts that are inside of here. Um, once I get my new tube and stuff like that, so I can put this all back together. Hopefully, that fixes the problem. Otherwise, I'm not going to be real happy. You obviously, you don't want to have to use your shotgun and and the rounds aren't uh, chambering up and it's getting stuck and you can't get rounds into it, it's not going to make for a good day. Anyways, Blazing Bullets, uh, please subscribe um, to the channel, like us on Facebook, join us on Facebook. All those links and stuff will be hanging around in my, probably my big long speech that my son says I make a lot. Um, I try to I try to explain everything as best as possible, um, but uh, please be safe out there, but always be ready for the fight. Peace.